Hello everyone, Dr. Hassan Tawheed here once again back with the part two of the mass search strategy and the advanced search. So I know many of you watched that first mesh uh, part one uh, video for the search strategy and I got so many messages that when am I going to, when am I going to upload the second one? And now I'm uploading the second part right now and uh, let's do it and enjoy it, learn and keep growing and let's let's move forward. So I have to, I had to create this re similar research question and similar search strategy. So we will begin exactly where we left. So now I am going to share my screen with all of you so that you can actually see. So this is my, sh in my screen that is shared and this is PubMed as you can see, but this is my data, right? This is my data sheet. And you see, this is the regular keywords and the mesh keywords. So now I have mixed them together. Now my mesh strategy is all set. Now, this is how mesh is done. You are pretty clear about it, but now the next thing is the advanced search. So let's go to the advanced search strategy. So I'll go to my PubMed. Now you can see this is PubMed. This is advanced search here, the option. You see my cursor moving. On the left side, you see my cursor moving. So keep looking at it. If I click here on PubMed website, under the search bar, advanced search, it will take me to the advanced search. Now this is a new page of advanced search and you can see there are uh, three bars or you can say that two lines where you can put information. Now, what do we do? Don't get scared of this advanced search page. It's so easy. So once you have your search strategy ready, you just need to come back and put their, put your strategy out here. So let's do it. So this is concept one, right? So the concept one strategy is this. Concept one strategy is this, and I copy it and I bring it to the advanced search page and I will keep it to all fields here. You see that there are so many options. I could have applied the filters, but I'll keep it here. Now, the moment I do it, I can add, the moment I add it, it will be in the query box. So now it's in the query box. Now I have multiple, two options. One side, pasted it in the query box through this button and I pressed add. Now I have this. I can either search now or I can add it to history. So what do I do here? Just add to history. Don't click on search. No need to do that right now. We'll do the search later. So I clicked on add to history. The moment I add to history, now I have this search number one saved here. And see, this is perfectly accurate. There are no mistakes. Had there been any mistake, PubMed would have shown it to me by, by coloring it in red color. And I would have found out that, okay, there is a mistake. But here, there is no mistake right now. So this is a perfect strategy for my concept number one. Now I'll go back. And my concept two is benzos benzodiazepine, I'll copy it. And see, there's a space, it says it's an error. So if it's an error or it's not, PubMed will decide if they accept it, it will be fine. If they don't accept it, we'll remove the um, space. Now let's go to the advanced search again. Now, where do I put the search? Here, here, or directly here? No, I cannot put it directly here. So either I put it here in the first bar here, or I put it here. So let's do it the way we learned it. All fields is automatically selected. Now I click on add. The moment I clicked on add, it is added to the query box. See, now query box. Now what do I do? I click on add to history. Now I clicked on add to history. Now congratulations, look at this. Search number two, concept number two is saved. But look at the total number of papers humongous amount of papers are visible. So is it possible logically to look at these many papers? Absolutely not. So don't worry about it. We will reduce it. This, these numbers will be reduced. 
this is what advanced search will do automatically. Don't worry about it. That's what we are going through. And now the third concept is left. Which one was the third concept? Anxiety. Now this is my third concept. I copy it. I come to my advanced search again and put it in the first search bar and all fields is automatically selected and I click on add. The moment I click on add, it's added to the query box. See this now? Now, once it's added to the query box, I either can search or I can add to history, but I told you to remember to add it to history. We're not searching it right now. Now, all three concepts are ready. One, two, three. Now, all three concepts are ready. Now, what do I do? I have to mix them together. I have to mix them together and there are multiple ways to mix it. Two ways actually to mix them together. How do I do it? Easy way. Number one, I will mix it like this. One, and remember, these are three different concepts. So between the concept, we will put an or or an, or an and. O R or, or an A and D and. A and D and, because Different concepts will be combined together with an and. But same concept, like same concept here, different keywords will be added with an or, 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 or. So remember this. Now I put an and here. And remember, always capital. It will be always uppercase, this and. Now number two, again and. But again, this is small, so this is incorrect. So now number three, I add number three, this search. So now this is one and two and three are added here in the query box. And the moment I add to history, it will tell me what is the total number of studies with combined strategy all together. The moment I do it, the number should reduce tremendously and the search should become easier. Let's see what happens. And 1451 papers. 1451 papers with my concept one, two, and three when they mixed with they were mixed together. So if I now click here, and you see the time is mentioned here. What time did I do the search? You can mention that in your search strategy to make it really interesting. The today's date and the search strategy. Um, and the time, today's date and time. So while mentioning your search strategy and method section and results section. So now here, 1451, right? The total number of results. If I click here, it will take me to PubMed results. But I told you there is another way you can add them. Let's do it. I click here. Add to query. See, it's added now. It's concept one, now concept two. Add with an and or or. What do you think? And remember, different concept. So concept two is added with an and. See that, go up there, you will find an and somewhere. Look at this. Second search strategy is added. Now, the third search strategy Again, with an and. And I have added all three of my search strategies together. Now, if I add to history, the number should be 1451. The number should be 1451. If not, then that means I have made a mistake. Okay, congratulations, 1451. That means this is the exact search strategy. This is the exact search strategy I will mention in my method section. Now let's go to further details. Further details, if you want to create a huge impact, then just copy paste this strategy. PubMed is showing you complete strategy. You can mention that as your search strategy as well. What exactly PubMed did. Or if you want less details, you can mention this. So you have a complete search strategy. And here you see this one, two, and three. Same strategy. Imagine if you mention all of this in your method section, how beautiful your paper will become. 
how detailed it would be. You have a perfect strategy ready. Now, 1451 papers left on PubMed, but it's still a lot, right, to screen. So can we apply any inclusion exclusion criteria or filters right now to reduce it? Absolutely. Now let's go to PubMed search by clicking on it. It takes me here, right? It takes me here. So now I can reduce the number of years. I'll focus on last five years. See this, see this, this moving? Last five years, 2016. Okay. I chose last five years and now I have 248 studies. And I could have further reduced it. The search becomes so easy for me. Now, if I go back, because I have applied this, if I go back, the numbers should be 248 out there. If it is saved. Yes, see this? Now 248 in last five years. Look at this, filters is mentioned here. So now I have feasible amount of papers left and it's very easy to screen, very, very easy to screen. So this is how you do your advanced search. And then once advanced search is done, you begin your removal of duplicates. Once you remove your duplicates, then you do the screening. And remember each database, you will do it for each database. You just don't do only PubMed. You will do the same thing for removal of duplicates from different databases, you combine them together, remove duplicates, then you go to screening and you do the combined screening of all databases, PubMed separate than other databases, whatever you have used. And remember the gray literature, you should also mention some, some studies through gray literature. And uh, that's it for today, that's it. And congratulations, you are done with your advanced search. So watch this video again, take notes, rewatch it until you understand. If you have any question, comment below and I'll get back to you and make sure you subscribe to this channel and mention subscribed. If you like this video, mention subscribe, okay? So that it will give me an indication that yes, I should keep making more and more videos to increase your knowledge. Thank you, have a good day. Thanks a lot.